subtracting across zeros. What is the result of subtracting 472 from 6,000? Before we start, let us arrange our numbers so that the digits in the same place are stacked above each other. Let's begin subtraction, starting from right to left. Notice that we can't take away 2 from 0 because the digit 2 is greater than the digit 0. So, what should we do? Obviously, we have to borrow from the other digits in the menuend. But, if we look at the tens place, we will find another zero there. And the same goes for the hundreds place. But there is a six in the thousands place. So, we borrow a one from it. We cross off the six and write five above it. Then, we cross off the zero in the hundreds place and write 10 above it. Now we have 10 hundreds. Next, we exchange one of those hundreds into 10 tens. We cross off the 10 and write 9 above it. Then, we cross off the zero in the tens place and write 10 above it. Finally, we exchange one ten into ten units. We cross off the ten and write nine above it. Then we cross off the zero in the ones place and write ten above it. Now we can subtract. Ten minus two equals eight. Nine minus 7 equals 2. 9 minus 4 equals 5. And finally, we bring down the 5. So, 6,000 minus 472 equals 5,528. So, if we have many zeros in the menuend, we have to keep looking to the left until we find a non-zero digit we can borrow from. In this lesson, you learned how to subtract multi-digit whole numbers across zeros.